Hi guys, Greg here, and today I have a new video for you. This one's from way back in December 2021, uh, when we we're in the middle of lockdown. And this is one of those times where you can leave the house and essentially explore a little bit, but you weren't really supposed to leave your local area, but I think most of it's in anyway. Um, so the, I decided to go to the peaks today um, on a very, very snowy day. There's no real point to this video. But I thought it was nice to look back on a snowy day around the peaks uh, during a much different time where there was nobody around. I hope you enjoy the uh, the next video. The images and videos from today's upload um, are very different to what most people would see from the peak districts, even the winter time. Um, this is a time where it was very, very thick snow. So it's a very different landscape to what the majority of us are used to out there. So yeah, there's uh, plenty more to come after this. Hopefully next videos will have some more substance to them. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, please enjoy. I am knackered already. It's inside. The summit is inside. This is just a summit of Mount Or. There's plenty of other places to go. Obviously, Lewis Hill, Mount Or, Kinder Scout in the background there. And obviously, Durham River. And if you can see, a bit further in the distance, you've got the, uh, the mines, you've got Catherton. Uh, I believe you've got Hope as well, just over there. Plenty of places to go. Um, but I mean, when I say it's all white, there is not a bit of greenery around. I mean it. There's no greenery. It is fantastic. Absolutely stunning. But yeah, like I said, that there is. I believe that's Kinder Scout. I believe that may be Jacob Ladder. I think anyway, I'm not 100% sure. But I think that is Kidna Scout. Uh, the train line is kind of there and runs through those trees there, so that is Kidna Scout, yeah. That's Edale then, over there. I'm not sure what this hill's called, but it's stunning either way. And then, like I said, we've got Back Tour, uh, Loose Hill, and I believe Chrome Hill's there. And then, if I'm right, we pan over to here. Pan over to here. We've got like Stanage Edge and the Hither's Edge and the other flat tops in the distance with the mine. I believe that's Castleton. I believe 
that's hope. I'm not 100%, but the whole valley is just stunning. So today I'm gonna obviously go from the top of Mam Tor here. We're gonna go along the trail. We're gonna go up Back Tor, up all the way round down to Loose Hill, Chrome Hill, I can't remember what it's called, and then back again more than likely on the same route, unless I can find something on commute that will take me a different way, but I don't really see there being any way of doing that. The only issue is going down these steps here and then down the final steps. That's the only dangerous part I'm not a massive fan of. Other than that, it'll be a very peaceful walk. At the minute there, it's very cloudy, but I believe the sun is coming out over there, so we will soon see. Um, I've just started, and time is currently quarter to 12, midday. So I've got four hours till it gets dark. So I think two hours I'm back over there will do me. Luckily, the snow's quite grippy. Uh, but these, even these aren't the best thing to walk in, especially in the ice and the snow. Great for the rain, great for the dry seasons, but not ready for the snow. So, we'll see how fair. So yeah, I'm an umpty. Completely forgot to charge my camera. So, uh, here we are. On the GoPro of all things. I'd rather use a GoPro. And, uh, mainly because I can't see what I'm doing. I can't get my frame right, I can't concentrate on looking at the screen or even the, uh, the lens, as you say. So I don't really use it. Obviously, I want to use it more, I want to get out there more, you know, do more of this um, hiking videos and just traveling and eventually more overseas travel. But obviously, at the minute, it's quite difficult being December 2021 and new cases coming along left, right and centre, it's um, getting to that stage again. So it's going to be difficult to leave the country and to do things outside of the UK. Which is, you know, half the course, I'm happy to wait until we're in a much better position as a community, as a world. And uh, it's just a bit disheartening, it's just a bit soul shattering to know, to know that we're still suffering. Uh, not just from COVID, but across the world. So, yeah. I haven't really got a story to tell today, other than the fact that I'm having a brisk wander through the peaks. Very slippery peaks, that is. I'm about slipping over going down these stairs. Uh, but I'm going to share with you my plans for next year because I thought I'm going to be doing a lot more of this um, in the future. I do want to start last year in December. Horrific. Like, if it wasn't for the raised heel, I'd have fell over three times already. Having like back grip really helps. So yeah. So yeah, my plans for next year. Um, I've got quite a lot. Obviously, a lot of music. So I like to go gigs a lot. I know my my music takes really does vary from the absolutely absolutely quite damn right absurd to some you know relatively average stuff. So I've got a gig every month until July, which is good. So I'll be doing a lot more music again, getting back into it. Um, Christmas will come round in about three and a half weeks, four weeks. And uh, yeah, I'll be just doing some more hiking between that type and times. Seeing some old friends, obviously Christmas always involves a lot of um, socialising, which is good. It's good for mental health, seeing people. If you don't see people for a few days, a few weeks, it um, really does affect my mental health to the point where I, I don't want to do anything at all. So it's quite difficult to comprehend going out if I'm not out all the time. Um, so yeah, a few, few weeks of some good, you know, solid fun and um, 
yeah, after New Year's, I've got, like I said, uh, gigs coming up, and hopefully, all being well, end of February, I'll be going back to Bulgaria uh, with my friends and uh, going skiing again. So that's my first kind of travel abroad. Look at that. Just come down there. That's going to be a nightmare getting back up again. Absolute nightmare. Now at this point during the walk, I decided to take a few minutes and just have a look around me because the, the snow has absolutely stunning. him. And uh, watching this footage back, it, it was such a beautiful looking day. Now it was quite difficult traversing the snow because it was quite deep in places, but it was beautiful to look at regardless. I am that good. It's so peaceful and serene out here. Which are very annoying just to my voice when it's so peaceful and serene out here. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do in the future. I'm 28 now and I'm only getting older and I'm only getting more fragile as we get older. Uh, no matter how hard you try to lose weight, keep fit and just keep motivation, it's never easy. So, yeah, it's just it's just figuring out what to do, and the one thing I do love in life is is going to these places, exploration, meeting new people, just enjoying myself really. Um, I'm very extroverted. I used to be very introverted as a kid, but I'm very extroverted nowadays. I can't stand being inside for long enough, for longer than a couple of hours before I get the itch. Just leave the house, walk, move, bike, skate, hike, ski, anything really, even to sit on a train. I'm least I'm travelling. Soothes that need. So yeah, I've got, I've got some plans for next year. Um, that's back tour going on to I think Lo Loose Hill or Chrome Hill, one of the two. And obviously that's Mam tour, which I'm going to take a picture of in a second. It looks absolutely stunning. So yeah, um, where was I? Oh, sorry, I was up to February. Wasn't I? Yes, I was up to February, and. My plan for February, essentially, is to go skiing. I have got a wedding in February as well. But we'll see. Uh, after that, I'm definitely going to go to the wedding. So that's good. Um, we'll see after that and see what the options are to do. Um, I'm not planning anything until then. I feel it's difficult when I've got one hand. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, I don't want to plan anything too soon. I have planned one holiday. Um, I'm going to see Brimley Rise and Malta. Other than that, and uh, there's there's nothing in set in stone. But luckily with that, because it's a whole booking, it's a whole kind of thing, where it's hotel accommodation and festival tickets all in one package. It's catered for you, so you kind of have the four back if there's COVID cases we can't go we can still get our money back um so i'm you know I'm very happy to be doing something like that I'm very happy to do some that uh it was either that or go down a festival and i've been down a festival quite a bit this year looks great but i don't know i love going there i love going download i love going leads um but i'm getting a bit bored with the same scenery i'm it's down for me it's 50 minutes from my house so it's like it's not enough distance for me to appreciate it as much as I do said Leeds or as I would Malta so I've decided that we're going to go Malta and luckily we've got tickets for a very cheap hotel there so we're only paying about I think we're only paying about 400 quid each, uh, 429 each is what we're paying that doesn't include flights but that is four days hotel and festival and you can't really ask much more than that because download for three days is I think 280 quid now so if you've got a hotel and a download campsite 
you were paying one excess of 600 quid. And I'm going to be paying about, probably about 500 all in, including flights from Ryanair. So, it kind of equals out to be better to go abroad. So I'm very happy I've got the tickets. Um, but yeah, other than that, I still said skiing in Bulgaria, Bansko, or Borovets, I'm not sure yet, I think I'll go back to Bansko. All my GoPro camera batteries are dead. And obviously my main camera batteries are dead as well. So I'm having a pickle with uh, with batteries, because I'm an idiot. I didn't charge anything last night, because I was at a gig. Uh, what's this saying? Ooh, we're on four bars, that's six. Is it six? Ah, oh, fucking idiot, it's not that bloody snow. You know what? I'll use both. We're gonna put it back on 16 mil. We're going to pop you on charge in the bag, out of the way of everything else. And then we're going to put the camera mic back on to get some better footage. Because as cool as GoPro is, as cool as GoPro is, it, uh, it does lack in the microphone department, because I don't use the adapter, because I don't like it. Uh, it does also lack in the quality department as well, because even... 4K looks a bit naff on it compared to a quite a lot of cameras to be honest with you. <sighs> yeah, look at that. So this is the uh the XT4. It's uh quite robust. Two mics, uh one backwards and one forwards facing. Um 16 to 55 F28 with a Two to thirty-two ND sort of. And uh JB something on the bottom with us, yeah. Yeah. I own battery though, because I'm an idiot. I'm gonna switch to this. I'm gonna put the GoPro on my backpack. And I'm gonna use that as a side cam. Oh, cool. Alright, so stills. Let's have it. Off. So yeah, I uh, have this really ingenious system when it comes to video. I right, so you set it as widest, put some tape over the lens and aperture wheel. They don't move. Boom. That's it. It's really simple. So I'm really wide, really dark at the minute as well. There we go. Oh, it's covered in snow. So yeah, I've uh, I've just got two angles going off here <laughs> to get some season behind the scenes today. Um, but yeah, I'm at six years now. It seems very oh, I'm on four K, so it's cropped it a bit. But yeah, I've got this really bizarre filter over the fucking file. It's making me feel a bit like I shouldn't have it on. Looks a bit weird. Maybe if I extend the poles out. Whoa, the devil. Come on, there we go. That's much better. Um, so where was I? Yes, yeah, so I said like for camera gear, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all. As long as you enjoy it, you can use it. Um, go for anything. As long as it suits your needs and your wants. Go for it. Look how beautiful that is. Absolutely stunning. Not a soul around either. Um, so yeah, and when it comes to working for photography, if you want to, by all means, go for it. One, well, if you want to, by all means, go for it. But it wasn't for me. It's not something I'd want to ever do. Ooh. Um, I like my own time. I like having my freedom. 
and the idea of making money where I need to make money, it's fine. For photography, it's like you kind of have to make money to keep going. You can't fade away for two months and come back because you'll lose clients, you'll lose contacts, you'll lose revenue. So you've got to figure it out that way, haven't you? For me, though, I'm just happy doing whatever. My current situation is I'm working full time, so uh, I'm only doing that until I buy a van to dwell for a bit in a van and do this kind of stuff for a lot more. A lot more. In a lot of countries. Also, up in the UK as well, to be fair. So, yeah. This is quite a heavy rig though. Um, it's obviously it's very extravagant for some light filming in the snow, but it's what I like, you know, it's good. Very, very good. Like I said, this is a GoPro I use. It's just a Hero 8 with a modded finger base. So I can screw in a um, cut wrench screw as well into the bottom of it. For I could switch plates and tripods and so on. The core has just gone bang. Do I go all the way, all the way over there? Well, not there anyway, but do I go all the way over there? To that little crow mill? Or do I go back down and back up to Mam Tor, which is there? Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm going to get a picture. Point that I thought maybe now is the best time to start planning my route back. The weather has started to drop quite considerably quite quickly and with the temperature constantly dropping it was starting to get a bit dicey and it felt dicey there. So I had a scope around the area and then eventually planned to head back over Mamtor and back to my car. Problem is the thing like the steps. It's like I said the I was gonna go up Loose Hill and then go along and down and round but because of the opposite side of there there are steps and they're very steep and they're very slippy but even with like crampons they're slippy because they're stone steps so it's quite difficult to pass that area going down going up's fine for me i just can't go down stone steps it's so slippy i can definitely try and i probably will get down there eventually but i'm, I'm not got ages you know to waste i would maybe another two and a half hours max before it gets dark I'm not exactly two and a half hours away because I've seen my tour there and I'm parked on the other side of my tour. Um, but I'm also not wanting to go back on the same, go back the same way I came. It's a bit boring. But judging by what's coming, I might have to. I'm currently not even wearing gloves or anything, I'm just like completely like this. And I wasn't feeling the cold earlier, but my hands are starting to feel it now. So I'm going to have to start wrapping up. It's getting colder by the second, which is a bit annoying. Uh, which means I'm going to be a bit more of a rush to get back. Yeah, there's nothing right down there, I don't think. I'm going to go through this gate. I did come a different way. I did come this way through, sorry. Uh, but I'm going to go through this gate and see. Um, let's get back through the other way, through the little forest area, I think. And then I'm going to stick to the lower path and go down and round. The wind's just picked up big time. I've got to put some more lanes on. I'm going to run to that forest, uh, which is just past this gate. I'm going to run to the forest and I'm going to wrap up quickly uh, because I am um, starting to feel the cold for the first time. Now, like I said, it's not, rain, it's not been windy that much today. It's been quite nice. Um, but now the wind has joined me. It did forecast wind chill of minus 9 to minus 12. Uh, with the actual temperature of about minus four. I can do a minus four. I like minus four. I can't do minus four winds though. Because minus four winds is about, like I said, minus ten probably. Right now I probably about minus eight. Um but it's still difficult to well, this hand's fine, this hand it's struggling to stay open. 
So I've got to go and wrap up the hands at least. My body's fine. My face is fine now. I've wrapped it up with a hood up. Just my hands. I've got to find my gloves. And I can't remember where I put them. Because I'm great at keeping things in my, dress, in my bag. <laughs> Problem is as well, is I, st I started to get a bit sweaty earlier, and now that sweat is um, freezing. So, yeah. Gonna get to that forest there, but to that forest there, and then I'm gonna start recording again. So, like I said, let's get to the forest, get wrapped up. some gloves gloves are on sun's starting to come out I hope melt some Mount Tor I want some uh, melted snow pictures of Mount Tor uh, the GoPro's dead it's dead Jim the camera's on charge in my bag uh, yeah I need to get that cable back in my GoPro I need the GoPro Pull into a battery permanently, I think, for a bit because the battery lasts about 10 seconds nowadays. down to the lower level where I walked before to the picture I got last time and there's a little stone here but I swear to you there was a ton of trees here before unless it's over the hill that way there's more trees but I, I, I'm sure there was trees here before because I'm maybe not though maybe no, I think this is the wrong one I think this is a bike trail so the trees are over the other side oh, not sure Oh, there we go. Look at that beautiful bitch. <laughs> I love it. So, yeah, I'm going to go over, over back to go on a lower path down and get the picture I've got before with my new camera. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to stop recording now for the time being. And uh, I'm going to re. I'm going to start again in a second once I've got all words together and figure out what I'm going to say next. Camera gear, that was it. It's five though. So I guess you use a lot. So Oh, getting colder now. I've got to re-wrap up, put every layer I've got possible on and cover my nose and my ears and my mouth and everything else. But my ears aren't covered at the minimum. There we go. Like I said, I have to wrap up big time. It is getting um, pretty dicey out here. <laughs> I look at the app and it's, it's like minus eight wind chill. And uh, yeah. Breaker on. Well, it's not really a windbreaker. It's uh, it just doesn't let it doesn't let much wind in, which is good.
that breaking light is gorgeous. I'll look a bit over there and have a look, but uh, I need to warm up a little bit, I think, before we do anything else today. Oh, it's going to get dark anyway. I haven't made the break, but it's fine. I've been all the way um, to the kind of highest bit like here. Other side of that, went down a bit, gave up, went back up again, back over, back over, back over. And I came down the lower road, like down this road here, rather than coming over. So I came like around and up. Um, but yeah, I think distance wise, I've only done about 12 kilometers. When I, when I finish, I'll be about 12 kilometers. I didn't want to do about 20 today, but I'm happy on 12 either way because it's, it's ridiculous. This weather is so cold, I'm not used to it yet. I need to get some better gear. Um, that lower body's fine, the thermals and these are completely fine, the boots are sound, but I do need some like a, a better jacket. Not one that's like this, which is quite, you know, keeps you warm, it also makes you sweat a little bit. I need the right kind of jacket. You can see it's over there, I think I mentioned it before. Like it's like a point, uh, where is it? It's like here, here somewhere. I believe that's Kinder Scout. It might not be, I can't remember where that's Kinder Scout is, but it's a very high point over there. I don't know, Kinder Scout's over there, isn't it? That might be Strainer's Edge or something like that. I believe we have, I've traversed that bridge line there. That ridge line there, I've traversed all the way from there to Chrome Hill and then back. And I was gonna try one day to go from Mamtor, or actually, no, not to Mamtor, Mamtor, go from um, Derwent River, Derwent River, up over Chrome Hill, all the way up to Mamtor and back down again. But it's good 12, it could take me 12 hours potentially because I want to take as many routes as possible to get to get there so I want to take one line back and another way back and uh, yeah it's a 12 hour thing my journey, the journey so I'm, I need to do it one day and come the summer next year I will be doing it probably 6am to 6pm um, so yeah and as you can probably tell from the wind it's getting cold it's getting cold I'm getting up higher up and higher and higher up and it's getting colder and colder and colder I love it but uh, Got how much the cold hurts. <laughs> That's gorgeous. The blue gradient into the slight yellow. The white mountain top.
hard. It's stunning that is. The glow is stunning. feels longer because it's so dicey, so hard to put your foot in the right place. So I'm down and basically back in the car park. So yeah, it was only about four hours but no it wasn't. It was about yeah it was four hours. So mad. Now, I think it's about 50, I think it's about 16 kilometers. 10 miles, not much, but in this treacherous weather, it works. It's good. <laughs> oh man, good time. That was sick, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wasn't expecting to do this last week. <laughs> <laughs> Much better than me, mate. <laughs> I'm not starting up. Do it. And I'm back. <sighs> now he's like a tap. But he's back. Cheers. Some water, some more, some water. That's what I'm gonna do. And then I'm out of here. Yeah, you can just go in there for now, not too wet. They're no, fine. That's off. Here's a mess. Whoosh. That's gonna go in here. It's dry off. No. Hoodie's coming off.
does that for an angle? We'll see. Because as you can see, last time we used this, um, I set fire to it all around there, and it all caught fire. It's, it was, I don't know if my fault or not, but I'm going to try again. I'd say it's my fault probably because I didn't really read the manual last time. There we go. Oops, I think before you do that, get it under the valve. Uh, pressure thing is what it's called. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? It fucking does up. It goes. And this one's scared, obviously. Is it going up so quick it will fucking just goes up in my, in my end? In the air and shit. We'll see. Right. I'm not sure if it's a fault or not, but it just doesn't, doesn't work. And I've tried so many canisters, I've tried so many ways of doing it. It just doesn't work like that every time. Um, so, uh, I can't use it. I figured out what sort of it's done for it. But, uh, just not today. That, that, under that, and we'll just keep the legs out, and then that goes on the top here. Yeah, this, this setup here looks to be working pretty well, to be honest with you. Um, I don't know if I've got any of it, it's all right. It's simple as well, it's very tiny, it's better than a jet boil, but it's quite easy to make, maintain as well. But if I jet boil works, I'd be very happy, but it doesn't. Well, I've got one kind of support, I don't know. Maybe we need like a slower releasing valve canister or something, I don't know. But yeah, it's worked, so I'm going to do this, I'm going to do some earlier than I'm going on. Well, I'm not going, I'm going to go for another look around. So, yeah, cool. So in the end, I didn't actually end up going anywhere else. The um, the weather was getting that bad again. Fog was drawing in. The temperature was dropping, and it was starting to get dark. So I had a little drive around through some of the smaller villages around the Peak District. Uh, had a look at what state they were in. Just had a little drive around the roads I knew were going to be safe to drive on. Uh, I knew the roads I knew I could control my car on as well. So yeah, I didn't stop again. I kind of just drove around for a bit and then headed straight back home. But as you can see by this video, that these roads were horrific you know a lot of snow a lot of black ice a lot of fog so maybe a bit silly to drive around but it was still fun I had a really good day you know i did um so you see at the end there i did 10 miles uh from the car park up to the back of the ridge line there in peter street and then back again so it was a really good day quite a lot of fun very dangerous at parts very stupid at part but an experience now something like this i wouldn't do again in the peaks i'd do it elsewhere bar means i'll go i'll go to the, little, the mountain range but i wouldn't do it again in the peaks it's just not very safe around there that time of year still loads of fun and some of the pictures i got were pretty cool so yeah so i say thanks for watching this video it's a bit of a longer one i know there's not really much of a story to it or anything it is just kind of an odd day out i had back in 2021 which i thought i'd share with you all so uh, yeah thanks for watching and until next time